all seen it, you guys all know what it is. The Patriot Boost, quite possibly the most talked about sled right now in the snowmobile industry. I've got this question a lot already and I wanna make a video addressing the answer to it and explaining my answer to it. And the question is, will I be getting a Patriot Boost for my snow check this year? And the answer to that is no. That's probably gonna be a shock to a lot of you guys because obviously if you guys watch the channel, you guys know who I am. I am very extra with what I do. Like I overdo a lot of things. Like I have this 2019 Pro RMK 850 to literally ditch bang and ride in Illinois. I mean, obviously every once in a while, I'll go up north to the upper peninsula of Michigan, but usually I use this sled around the house ditch banging and two inches of snow. So me having this sled doing that, you guys would assume that I'm gonna go all out and get the Patriot Boost this year, and that's just not gonna happen, and I, the answer to that is no, I'm not gonna get it. I have a few reasons explaining why. The first one is quite honestly, and I can't believe I've been saying this, but I just don't need it. Like. I live in the Midwest and yes, the Patriot Boost offers 10% more power at sea level, but for the extra four grand they are charging to get the Patriot Boost, there's absolutely no need for me to go ahead and spend four grand extra for 10% more power. I mean, like I say I wanna go out west, but the chances of me actually ending up going out west more than once a year, if I even make it out there once a year are slim to none. So that extra four grand really isn't gonna get used all that often, whereas I don't need the 10%. The 850 Patriot is plenty of power for me and I have no issue not having the boosted sled. The next reason is I am heavily considering getting the RMK Chaos Slash 146 and as a lot of you guys probably know, if you've looked into the player's lineup, they are not offering the Patriot Boost for the 146 model. I believe I'm even saying I'm considering 146 because I've ridden 155s for like five years. I've had five 155s, but that Slash RMK Chaos 146 is really, really exciting, and it's something I'm really heavily considering, and if I end up going with that sled, I would not be able to get the Patriot Boost anyways. Another reason I really don't want the Patriot Boost right now is because I'm not sure of the reliability. It is like a first year thing for players. I know they said I believe they've been testing it for about 10 years, but this is still the first time it is going out to the public and people like us are getting to get our hands on it and ride it. So reliability wise, I'm not too sure. I know they had their fair amount of issues with the 850 Patriot when it came out and adding boost to it from the factory, who knows what's gonna happen. So I kinda wanna let it run its course first before I go ahead and order one myself. Another thing with the Patriot Boost is I'm not sure how many of you guys have tried to order one yet. Obviously myself, I have not, but I've heard from Facebook and forums that they are almost impossible to get your hands on. I heard they're making anywhere between 2,500 and 3,500 of them. Don't quote me on that exact number. But for what I've heard, it is almost impossible to get your hands on these. I've heard of guys calling three states, states surrounding their states, everywhere they can to get their hands on them, and it's just not possible. People said they sold out by 9 a.m. the first day of snow check, which is absolutely crazy. So by now, this is like two days after snow check started. There is absolutely no way I'd be able to get a hold of one of these unless I got extremely lucky. Another issue with the Patriot Boost, not really an issue, but like, I don't know because I know the turbo, something goes out with the exhaust, it's something crazy like that is I wouldn't be able to put a can on that sled, I don't think, and that's gonna bother me because I like having my sleds loud, I like running my cans, so I don't know, I mean, it's really not a deal breaker for me, but I definitely do like having the exhaust on my sleds, and if I couldn't do that, it'd be kind of sad, especially if I'm spending 19 grand starting price for one, and I couldn't put a can on it, it'd be kind of, kind of suck to me. But it's, like I said, not a deal breaker for me, just another little thing I was looking at. And overall, just like, the price it's starting at 19 grand but yes it does come with the 7s display you got the patriot boost motor you got all sorts of stuff but it is literally four grand more starting price than the 155 rmk chaos slash matrix whatever so we are talking about spending four more grand for a boosted motor which i get it because uh, aftermarket turbo system is way more than four grand and this is a factory one with a warranty which is pretty awesome but i just don't know if i could justify spending the extra four grand just to have a boosted motor i just want to make this quick video explaining why i won't be ordering a patriot boost so that is completely off the table if you guys enjoyed today's video smash a huge thumbs up on today's video comment down below what your thoughts are on the patriot boost and me not getting it and like i always say if you guys are new here or you've been watching for a while and you're not already subscribed go ahead and hit that subscribe button and I will catch you guys in the next video. Peace out. Ay, ay, foot on the gas, foot on the gas. Living too fast, living too woke. It's not where you been, nah, nah. Boy, where you at? Hey. Don't tell me relax, nah. I keep it a